Hello, good afternoon and good evening, Instagram family. I'm Katie Sarietti Bull, coming to you from Vancouver Island. That's off the southwest coast of Canada, eh? And I'm really grateful that you're here watching. Last week, I talked about my story. I had a chapter published in Simply Woman, this beautiful book. And when I left off, I was talking about when I met Anthony Hopkins on the beach, which led to an awakening. I've been working on myself a really long time. Life's always been good, but then it just got great, amazing. And more and more has unfolded. You know, your story keeps writing itself. And before you go, I just want to talk you into staying to give me a little help getting some retention because I'm new at this. I'm not used to babbling into an iPhone without any energy or audience to feed off in the flesh. And so I think I figured out some great ways to increase my retention. One is wearing a low cut top kidding but there's a little tooth in humor right so I'm not entirely kidding and these boots flea bogs who knew that these could cause such a sensation I went to my cousin's 50th birthday party the other night and I met a lot of new people because of these boots oh what have you got on oh I like your boots <laughs> including my eight-year-old cousin she's adorable first thing like she greets me first thing not my name not hi it's like oh I like your boots that was really cool so um Anyways, yeah, when I was here last week, I was talking about Anthony Hopkins and how I met him. So, about a year and a half ago, my daughter, she was turning 16, and she really wanted to see Hamilton. You know, the production, the big play, it's like Shakespeare. It's amazing, brilliant. And they were on their second cast in Los Angeles. So, that's just down the road from us, right, up here in Canada. So, I said to my husband, and to my friend's daughter's mom, because her friend also wanted to see Hamilton for her 16th birthday, which was just uh, 10 or 12 days away from my daughter's. And I was like, you know, I don't think we'll ever forget this. She won't forget this if we send her. Yeah, the money, you know, it's a little bit of money, but you don't remember that in a year or two, but you'll always have those memories. So we went down there. And it's kind of funny because as soon as um, that night I was going to bed, before we had to get up at five and get ready to catch our plane in the morning. And I looked up at the universe, right? I looked up on my bedroom ceiling and I said, universe, I'm open to infinite possibilities. So at first, that didn't work out so great because I wake up at five in the morning and I go to the computer to transfer some money onto the visa. And there's this email staring at me saying, your Airbnb host has canceled your reservation due to a lack of hot water. I'm like, oh my God. So threw us into panic mode, but we figured it out and ended up finding somewhere else to stay. And then as our journey was going on, we were on, went down to Santa Monica Pier and it was really crowded and my friend had wanted a coffee and the lineup was too long. So we went, walked along the beach. We were heading to Venice Beach to the Big V and we misjudged the time. I'd stopped a jogger and said, how long? Oh, another 20 minutes. Okay, so we decided just to drop in the sand and hang out kind of in between Santa Monica Pier and Venice Beach. But my phone was dying. So I said to my friend, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go sit, you know, over at that cafe over there and charge my phone. So I had it up to about 50% and grabbed two coffees was walking to meet them and there was my friend and her daughter and my daughter coming to meet me. Hey, I got you some coffee. Oh, thanks. And I said, you know what? Check out this little cafe. I took a picture of the menu on my phone. It's great. They've got like something for everyone and we could just lie here on the beach longer and call Uber, head back to the hotel and we'll even have time for a little shower before we go out to the observatory, right? And my friend was kind of like, oh, well, I thought you wanted to do the bus tour. I said, well, you know, been there, done that. We did it on the way here. And she said, well, it'll cover a different route, you know, on the way back. And I said, yeah, I know, I was thinking that, but it took two hours to get here. Now we're in rush hour traffic through LA and it's gonna probably take three hours. Why don't we just relax here on the beach and we're back? So she kind of, you know, well, well, all right. She asked my daughter what she wanted to do. My daughter said, yeah, I think, you know, let's Uber and hang out on the beach longer. And so she went off to find the washroom and I don't know why, but I thought she was kind of miffed with me for changing the plans. And I'd been pretty go with the flow at that point. So I thought, well, I don't, I don't want her mad at me. I don't like 
when someone's mad at me. Do we, right? We can get uncomfortable. And hey, I, I've had the disease to please for a long time. Not anymore. And I stood in line to get our food. I told the girls to watch for a table. My friend's still in the bathroom. I'm trying to find one because the homeless people are living in them. And uh, I just kind of looked up at the sky and went, universe, um, I feel like my friend's kind of miffed at me for changing our plans and wanting to pick the restaurant today. Can you help me be okay with that? And I look down and there's a shiny penny on the ground. I'm like, wow, so I pick it up, put it in my pocket. I'm like, thank you. So then we order food and it's Canadian Thanksgiving, by the way, right? It was October 8th or something, 2017. So I meet my daughter and a friend and we're scanning around, you know, for the tables, do, 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 and there's one left. So I'm like, go, go. So we're just like knocking people out of the way. Kidding. And we get this table. And my friend comes from the washroom. And meanwhile, I was like running around, setting the table, wrapping, you know, napkins around plastic cutlery and getting it all arranged. And we get our meals, you know, pizza and a rice bowl and chips and fish and chips. And I said, oh, we got to take a picture, you know, and post this for Canadian Thanksgiving. And my daughter's like, oh, mom, just take a selfie. And I, no, I don't want the big long arms out there, big selfie. So I said, I'm going to bug that man. So I went over and bothered this nice older man to take our picture. And when I got back to the table, there was nothing on the camera. He didn't hit the button hard enough. <laughs> so I went back again, much to the protest of my daughter and her friend and her mom. Oh, don't bother him, Katie. Oh, you're such a pest. Just leave him alone. No, oh, no, no, you won't mind. It's all good. It's just a picture. So I went and bothered him again. And he said, oh, so you're from Canada. He said, I said, yes, I am, eh? And he said, I have a lady friend from Canada. You know what I say when she says A? And I said, no. And he said, I say B. <laughs> so anyway, we thanked him for taking our picture. And we started to pack up after, getting ready to go lie on the beach. And I look, and he's talking to my friend. And I hear her saying, can you take your sunglasses off, please? And I'm like, oh my God, why the hell is she asking him to do that? And she looks at me and says, Katie, that's, this is Anthony Hopkins. I'm like, oh my God, okay, I'm Canadian, we're really cool. So I can't keep it cool. Hey, yeah, so it is, hey, hey Anthony. That's, that's, so it is, really cool to meet you. And we get chatting with him, and he's amazing. He actually wanted to know more about us. We ended up talking for some reason about our dads and you know that our dads, uh, my dad was in World War II and used to steal food from the officer's mess and give it to the poor and my parents taking in 44 street kids and he loved it and he loved that I was an EA for a living. He noticed I have quite a bit of energy and said you're a very busy girl. And I said yes sir Anthony I cannot tell a lie. My friend is very quiet salt of the earth and she got a kiss on the cheek he really liked her but he wasn't creepy he wasn't weird. And we took some pics. Now the girls are staring, going, what's going on? Who is this? And I'm like, this is like Anthony Hopkins. Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> and uh, so that was really cool. Now, I don't know, I'm gonna show you a picture. Okay, I'll show you a picture of us with Anthony. I've had people say, no, that was not Anthony. It's a lookalike. But you know what? I've also met people, like when I was in LA a few months ago, the Uber driver said, Oh, you mean the little cafe on the beach in Santa Monica? I said, yeah, he lives right up the road. He's got an apartment. I said, exactly, yeah, he showed me. So sometimes people look different in person than they do when you meet them. So can you see that okay? So there he is with me. And then I'm gonna, I blew the picture up a little bit. Um, hang on, bear with me. Yeah, oops. Um, I think I kind of lost it. Sorry, I don't want to tie up our time here. So, oh, you know what? I found it. Here we go. Uh, there we go. So what do you think? Is that Anthony Hopkins? I'll let you deliberate on that. So anyways, thanks for your time. We're already out of time, so next week I will come back and start to read more of my story. And that is more about my roots, my upbringing. My family was a bit like that 70s show, Crossed with Shameless. And I'm going to start reading snippets of that, digress a little, where I couldn't when I had to 
condensed the story to fit this beautiful, powerful book that it's in, Simply Women, Crystal Andrews Morissette. And thank you so much for watching. You have a beautiful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.